Hey everybody, this is Larry in Brandon, Minnesota. Check out the fish. Oh yeah. We got white fish, we got northern, we got rainbow trout. I'll put a link underneath here in case you haven't seen my other video on smoking salmon. I used the same brine on this. I'll also put that link underneath here. Here's some beautiful white fish fillets. And they're going to go in the smoker. Okay. And we're going to put them right in there. Line them right up. And I've also got some rainbow trout. And we got, say we got some northern in here too somewhere. I think it's way down on the bottom. Oh yeah. Anyway, they're in there. But once I get her in there, I get all the stuff uh, smoking, and I'll be back. Ciao. Okay, I got all the fish laid in here. I wanted to show you something too. This is uh, the northern pike fillets, nice fillets. This is all white fish here and here and here. Nice white fish fillets. This is rainbow trout. There's one big white fish in the back. But on these whole fish, uh, what I like to do is I just took uh, these little bamboo skewers. You can get a hundred of them at Walmart for a buck. They're dirt cheap. Just break them off. You can use toothpicks too to hold the cavity open. I like because then you get to smoke inside there and everything. What I'll do is after they smoke a while, they'll kind of stay and I can remove that and kind of you know straighten them out for appearance, make it look nice. But it allows uh, to originally get all the smoke in there and start stiffening up, then you can remove them. But anyway, so we're going to fire up the smoker and we'll be back. Well, everybody, it's Larry. I'm back. The fish just came out of the smoker. It's uh, 5 in the morning. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. I started this at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I cold smoked it for about 6 hours. And then I slowly started bringing up the temperature until I was about 180 in the smoker. And then finished it out that way. This is all white fish. Beautiful white fish. This is northern pike. This is another white fish, a whole one. More white fish and three rainbow trout. Quite a haul, huh? Well, I'm going to put a link below this. You can make, uh, take this smoked fish, you can use salmon or trout or anything and make this killer dip, okay? I call it salmon dip, you can make it whitefish dip, you can make it northern dip, anything you want. But uh, anyway, I've been busy, i got to get up in the morning, well it's almost morning, I'm going to can apple juice. But uh, anyway, it sure came out good, it sure smells good, I smoked it with applewood and hickory, and uh, beautiful color. I did taste some, I got one of the whitefish in the fridge, it always tastes so much better to me, it's okay hot. But I like to put it in the fridge, let it cool down, especially overnight. And then it's nice and firm. And this is, it's firm, but it's not dry. So it's got great flavor. And this brine recipe is killer. And I'll put that brine recipe that I used on this, the same as I used on a previous one with salmon. I'll put that under the, the link under it here too. Okay, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota saying smoke some fish. Ciao.